Today, we're going to be talking about setting up Azure AD Terms of Use. These are really cool if you haven't played with them yet. It allows for a lot of scenarios when you have to present a user with terms of agreements or terms of use, and you can segment the terms of use policies based on any user attribute, any application that they're trying to access, or even any device that they're coming in from. Azure AD Terms of Use requires your employees or guests to accept these terms of use before accessing your M365 applications. This can be done on a per device basis. Um, for example, if you have a BYOD policy that you want your users to accept before accessing M365 on that device. You can also do it on a recurring schedule. So if you have yearly attestation on a particular policy, you can stick that in there and have them attest every year to those terms of use. You can also put terms of use before requiring their MFA setup or before enrolling in self-service password reset. So we have the ability to present these terms um, across all users in the org, uh, like a generic policy about, you know, accessing uh, NetWoven systems. We can also put explicit terms in before accessing a uh, critical application like Salesforce or Dynamics. Uh, and these specific terms of use policies could be based on a lot of things, right? One of the most common use cases is based on user attribute. So an employee should receive a different terms of use than a contractor. US terms of use is different than international. Uh, basically any attribute on that user object would, would allow you to make a dynamic group and then assign a term of use to it. You also can have multiple terms of use per user. So if I have to sign you know, two terms of use because I'm a US contractor, uh, you can set that up as well. And Terms of Use supports multiple languages, so you don't have to have one very long uh, PDF that includes all the languages of your company. And how these are done are using conditional access policies. So as we go through this setup, you'll see a lot of the time is spent configuring a conditional access policy and making sure that the uh, users and applications have the right terms of use. To get started, you want to be in Azure Active Directory. Once in Azure Active Directory, go down to the Identity Governance. Inside of the Identity Governance, you'll see Terms of Use. And if you have existing terms already, they'll be listed here on the right. So as you can see, we already have a Terms of Use for external use by employees. And in this scenario, we want to create a terms of use for contractors. They are held to different terms than our employees. And so we want to create a separate term just for the contractors. So after filling out the name, we have to upload our terms of use document. And so this has to be a PDF. Um, I already have a couple of them for contractors. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make one of them English and one of them Spanish because we do business in Spain. Uh, I want to make sure that my Spanish contractors also get a translated version of the terms of, of use. Finish. Great. And you can add up to 16 of these different languages. The next one, uh, the next option we have is to require people to expand the terms of use. By default, when we present the, the screen, it will be collapsed. So to make sure they read it, I am going to turn this on. I can have the option to require consent on every single device. 
So if I turn this on, it's going to require device comp or device registration inside of Intune or uh, Endpoint Manager. So I don't want that for my contractors right now. So I'm going to keep that off. And then the next two are whether I want to have the consent expire. So, you know, expire on an annual basis on January 1st, for example, uh, I could do that. Or if I want to do it by duration, um, basically every 30 days, every 90 days, I would add that in down here. So for me, I want those terms of use to be presented every single day to the contractor. So we're going to put a duration of reacceptance for one day. Uh, under the conditional access, this is where we, um, this is how the, the terms of use is presented to that group. So for now, I'm going to say create the conditional access policy later. I'm going to say create. So this goes and creates it for us. For us to activate it, basically put it in front of all of our contractors, we have to create that conditional access policy. So if you remember one of our other videos, we'll get the conditional access in security, conditional access. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a new one and I'm gonna call this, uh, I like a naming convention, CA04, contractors terms of use. Now, as I mentioned in the video, at the, the beginning of the video, we have the ability to target the terms of use based on all users, uh, application. In this example, um, we have a, uh, a dynamic group called contractors. So when you get provisioned in our Azure Active Directory, um, you have a attribute attached to you if you're a contractor or an employee. We read that and put everybody into this con uh, into this group of contractor or if you're an employee into the employees group. Under our cloud applications, we could target just to a select app. So we could say, hey, these terms of use are only for our Salesforce uh, instance. Um, but that's not the scenario. We want to get this terms of use to everybody when all contractors for all applications. So we're going to select the all cloud apps. Um, there's going to be no condition, so we don't care about location. If we wanted to have different terms of on network versus off network, that's where you would configure that and uh, put the different terms of use there. So down in the grant section, where we are going to grant access to these individuals, but we're going to make them accept that all contractors terms of use. So all I have to do is select this checkbox and that will prompt the contractors with that terms of use. And then enable the policy and create. Great, so now that it's created, we can try to log in. Let me bring over another browser here. And we're gonna log in as one of our contractors. So let me copy that, click sign in. And now you'll see that we have a terms of use. Now this is in English. Remember I set an English and a Spanish, um, but because of my active Azure Active Directory locale, I'm, I come in as English. So I have to click accept to the terms of use, and then I'll be logged in. So that's pretty painless. Um, you know, we probably created a little more pain than needed by having them re-attest every day. Um, but, you know, I, I, the scenario is what your InfoSec folks want. And so 
another cool thing about these terms of use is that we get an audit report. So if we go back into identity governance and terms of use, uh, you can see that I have one accepted for the all contractors. And I can go into my view audit log. And this is great from a compliance standpoint. Um, if you want uh, to go and, and check, you know, who has, who has complied with your uh, terms of use, these audit logs and these acceptance are really uh, easy way of generating a report to say, okay, who's accepted and who's declined. So with that, I'll, I'll leave it there. If you liked this video, make sure to hit the like button below. Uh, if you find our content useful, make sure to subscribe for any new videos. Thank you.